What's going on guys, it's Beatums, and this is my Mew Glitch tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's for Pokemon Blue and Red only. It doesn't work on any other game, so... First thing you want to do is get to Cerulean City. On the way, I recommend catching a Jigglypuff. It's a lot easier. Right after you beat Brock, once you beat all those trainers, there's one that has a Jigglypuff and there's grass, in, um, there's, um, grass below her. And that's where you can catch a Jigglypuff. So, I recommend catching the Jigglypuff and getting it like up to level 20, 25, whatever. Just so it has a lot of speed. And the reason for that is you need to catch an Abra. Uh, this guy right here, do not battle him. The one above where I am now. Do not battle him. I can't stress that enough. Do not battle him. You'll see why later on. But, um, the Jigglypuff is going to help you a lot in catching Abra and in Mew. So, Jigglypuff knows Sing. I don't know if you guys know that. But, uh, the, the trainers I'm battling now, they're just the ones that are in the way. You could battle all of them, except for the one that I told you not to battle, that guy up there. Just, trust me, do not battle him. Um, these are the ones that you absolutely have to battle to actually do it, just because they're going to be in your way at some point. So I usually just battle them first, and then I go and do everything else. You guys can do it however you want, but that's just my prerogative. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, anyways, so you go down here. Well, you don't have to go down here, but I went down here to heal up. And, uh, get as many Pokeballs as you can. I mean, worst case scenario, you waste some Pokeballs. But you're going to need them to catch Abra and to catch Mew, so you're going to go through a lot of them. Now up here, walk all the way up here and then go down because you don't want to battle that guy in the grass there. Uh, you, you need to do something with him later. So, I failed on the first try, but I got lucky because Abra's teleport failed, and I catch him on the second try. So, you do want Abra on you, so leave a spot open for him, otherwise you have to go back to the Poker Center, and it's just a pain. So leave a spot open, go up here, and the way I like doing this is I like going down to the water, then taking one step up and one step back down. You want to be facing that trainer, but you don't want to encounter his battle, alright? Here's where you want to save the game, because you're probably going to have to do this several times, and I know that says I've been playing for 15 hours or whatever, but that's just because I was speeding the game up. Alright. And then here I saved my uh, emulator as well, just as a backup. Now what you want to do here is you want to take one step down and pause as soon as you can. You want to pause before the battle starts. Go to Abra and use teleport. Now you'll notice that the battle starts, but then you teleport away. And I'm going to go back and look at that. But that looked like a Mew was teleporting you. I don't know. It could have just been Abra. Um, I don't know. It just looked kind of weird when I teleported. I just caught that now as I'm watching it again. But anyways, you want to go back up Nugget Bridge. You don't even have to worry about that other guy now. But you'll notice on the way back, your start menu won't open. No matter how hard you try it, you cannot get it open. And that's just part of the glitch. Now here, I walk in front of this guy, nothing happens. Just nothing. It stays like this. So, what you need to do is, instead of walking in front of him, I think I reset it right about here. Somewhere. There we go. <laughs> so, you want to do this again. Uh, and this is the. I wanted to show that so that you know that you need to save. And I think I just speed through this now. Yeah. So, you go back up. And if you guys don't know with an emulator, if you just hold spacebar down, well at least with the one I use, it um, speeds up the game. What you want to do is you want to walk all the way as high as you can and then encounter his battle and then you should be good to go. He has a level 17 slowpoke I believe. Really easy to beat, especially if you have uh, Ivasaur. Very very easy. But I mean, no matter what you have really, slowpoke is easy, all it knows is water gun and like tackle or something or bite. I don't even remember. So you take him out and then you've basically done the hard part of the Mew glitch. Now you just have to go catch Mew. So in order to do that you pretty much just walk back to the Poker Center going this way. Um, I have seen some people say that you can... Uh... Oh yeah your start menu works now by the way. Once you do that one trainer battle. 
And I put Clefairy in front just so I had something to weaken Mew with a little bit. Mew is actually pretty strong, so... It's, uh... Level 10 versus level 7 you would think would be too much, but it's actually not, and you'll see. It's... I mean, I get a crit on the Mew, and it still takes a few hits. So you just keep walking this way, and all of a sudden you start menu pauses. So what you want to do is you want to exit, and then the battle starts. And you're in an encounter with Mew. Now, like I was saying, I have seen it where people have tele or people have said that you could teleport back to the Poké Center and then walk up Nugget Bridge, and during Nugget Bridge, it'll, it'll start too. I've never tried that. Um, I've always done it this way. So, I mean, you notice I'm barely doing any damage on it, even though I'm three levels higher, and it's doing five damage on me, which is pretty good for a level seven. And then all you have to do is just battle through and catch Mew. It took me quite a few tries, but. There's also another spot where you can do this. It's near the, um, and I can't even remember the, the name of it, but... Uh, is it... Celadon City and... Fuchsia City? In between, right near the, um, the ghost tower where you fight Cubone's mother. There's another spot there you can do it. I'm not quite sure how to do it there. I've never done that one. Uh, I'm sure you guys could find a video if you guys really wanted to do that one. But, I'm pretty sure if you do this one, you can't do the other one. So, you might as well do it early, have Mew early on, instead of doing it later. The only time that's good is if you didn't save for a while and you happen to battle the wrong person. I guess you could go back and do it. But, uh, there's one other glitch for this game. It's pretty much the most common glitch of the game, and it was the duplicating items glitch. And if you guys want to see that, let me know. I wouldn't mind doing that one either. And there's actually something most people didn't know about that. You can actually control which Pokemon you encounter while you're doing it. So if that interests you too, let me know. Um, yeah, so now we got a Mew. It took quite a while to get to catch him. It, it is Pokeballs after all. And there's only one Mew, so. So he's a new species, not species, species. And he's so rare that it's still said to be a mirage to many experts. And only few people have seen them worldwide. So, you guys are one of them. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment if you want to see the other glitch. Uh, here's some of Mew's stats, 21, 19, 19, and 20, and all it knows is pound. However, every 10 levels, I think level 20, 30, and 40, it learns another move. Learns Metronome, I think Teleport, and Psychic are the other three that it knows. But you can teach it any TM and HM, so that's great. But anyways, guys, if you want to see that other glitch, let me know. And until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Peace.